हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विथ यू अबाउट प्रिसीशन रेक्टिफायर अंडर दिस हेडिंग आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विथ यू अबाउ फर्स्ट अबाउट स्मॉल सिग्नल हाफ वेव रेक्टिफायर सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बी कंसेंट्रेटिंग ऑन स्मॉल सिग्नल हाफ वेव रेक्टिफायर्स एंड इट्स वेरियस कन्फिगरेशन एंड सर्किट्स so let us first take the circuit of it so the input voltage is uh, applied input signal uh, source is applied at the non inverting terminal and the inverting terminal is connected with the output and this is the feedback path this voltage right at the output of the op amp is denoted by v0 prime or vo prime and final output is vo across taken across rl the load resistance so this is a simple circuit which is a positive small signal half wave rectifier circuit so this is uh, half wave rectifier circuit and it is positive circuit why it is called positive circuit we will uh, uh, just a little <coughs> later we will discuss about it so th this is basically the circuit which can rectify the signal applied at its input with peak values down to few millivolts so few millivolts at output will be represented from the peak value which is uh, which is detected at the input rather so therefore uh, unlike conventional diodes we can see that this uh, this form of rectification is quite precise and uh, it uh, as it uh, can uh, rectifies uh, peak values down to few millivolts and that is quite perceivable at the output uh, that's why this uh, type of rectifiers uh, are called precision rectifier now this is possible because the high open loop gain of the op amp because in this particular type of rectifier unlike conventional uh, rectifiers uh, where only the uh, diodes are being used and here along with the diode you can see from the diagram uh, an op amp is also used and uh, because of high open loop gain of op amp it is helping us to automatically adjust the voltage drive to the diode d1 that means whatever is at the output um, of the op amp which is vo prime that is driving the diode d1 this is diode d1 and as a result the rectified output represented by vo and its peak is the same as the input so if we consider this as the input signal v in for us this is the applied signal and let let us see how vo will look like the output signal so this is input waveform and from it we will see how the output waveform will look like now to find that let us explain this uh, operation of this particular um, uh, circuit the diode acts as an ideal diode switch here that is d1 since the voltage drop across the on condition of the diode is divided by the open loop gain of the op amp that means the voltage drop across this diode d1 is divided by the gain of the op amp and so uh, from it we used to consider the diode as an ideal diode and uh, and so no additional drop because of internal bulk resistance of the diode is considered here now 
in terms of the operation of this circuit we can uh, see that from from here that when v in the input voltage starts increasing that means it will start increasing in the positive direction in the positive half cycle the vo prime which is the immediate output of the op amp also start increasing positively because the input is applied to the non inverting terminal so vo prime will also be in the same phase that is it also positive and that will grow up gradually as v in is going on increasing until the it will forward bias the diode d1 so v uh, as v in is going on increasing uh, in the positive direction vo prime will gradually go on increase at the vis a vis at the same time and that will eventually at one point of time forward bias this uh, diode d1 now when uh, diode d1 is forward biased that means it is uh, it will start its conduction this will be a close uh, a closed path or a shorted path that means the output vo prime will be connected through this feedback path to the inverting terminal so this loop feedback loop is completed and uh, or closed and the op amp works like a voltage follower so when this uh, diode is acting as a short it is uh, properly forward biased then this part of the uh, circuit the whole circuit will will be look like a voltage follower because of no feedback resistance in the feedback path so feedback gain is uh, so the gain of this particular um, closed loop amplifier is one or unity so it will work as a voltage follower now in a voltage follower we know the output voltage vo the final output follows the input voltage v in during the positive half cycle so wha what whatever be the shape of the waveform in the uh, positive half cycle will be same as in the output during that time so this output will follow the input because of voltage follower action by this circuit during the positive half cycle but however when v in starts increasing in the negative direction in the negative half cycle during this portion what we will see that uh, <coughs> vo prime the immediate output of op amp also increases negatively until it is equal to the negative saturation voltage minus v so it 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 finally at attains since we are considering this when this diode is not conducting this op amp is like an open loop amplifier so if v in increases negatively that means the uh, since uh, negative increase at the non inverting terminal means the phase will be same so at the output so vo prime will be will also be negatively increasing to catch up the negative saturation voltage which is minus v in this case and this will reverse bias the diode d1 and opens the feedback loop loop that means the feedback loop will be opened then and so during the negative half cycle of the input signal there will be no voltage across this load resistance rl so vo will be zero so therefore during the negative half cycle the output uh, waveform will be like this so the act, the waveform will actually look like if we use a different color this one uh, this waveform in the positive half cycle and then it is grazing along the time axis that means zero for the negative part or the negative half cycle now the op amp uh, in this particular circuit which is being used which is being shown here must be a high speed op amp since it alternates between open loop and closed loop operation when it is closed loop operation it is in positive half cycle op amp is having closed loop operation and in the negative half cycle the op amp is working in open loop operation so that means there must be a property of op amp should be such that it will be switching between these two open loop and closed loop operations faster to get this output waveform quickly in this fashion so therefore 
if we consider once again for the uh, second half cycle second positive half cycle we will once again find a particular output like this so therefore what we can see from here that during this time the diode d1 is on and during this time the diode d1 is off in the negative half cycle and once again d1 is on here so it is giving us a half wave a half wave rectified output that's why it is called a rectifier and uh, because of the use of op amp the rectification is very precise so it is called precision half wave rectifier and it is a positive circuit why it is called positive circuit because at the output only the positive half cycle is replicated and not the negative half cycle and it is uh, as because of small signal half wave rectifier the input peak is having small signal and that peak is represented as as a few millivolt at the output which is a very small signal so that's why it is called small signal half wave rectified rectifier with precise output okay now let us see the second uh, diagram uh, of the circuit in this circuit as usual v in is applied at the non inverting terminal and uh, at the inverting terminal it is connected with the output across a load resistance rl the vo is measured and immediate output of op amp is vo prime and between these two the immediate output and the final output a diode is connected in this fashion this is the diode d1 so what does it mean unlike the previous one the diode is connected in the reverse direction in this particular circuit so this will be obviously if previous one was the positive uh, small signal half wave rectifier this should be called negative half wave rectifier with small signal and this will be the v in for this case the input sinusoidal signal now this circuit in fact can be obtained from the circuit of the uh, mm, mm, clipper circuit which is not actually there uh, in your syllabus but uh, this can be uh, called a modified form of a clipper circuit where op amp can be used okay anyway uh, during the positive alt uh, alteration here that is during the positive half cycle in this particular case if this is the output waveform we should be drawing so during the positive uh, half cycle uh, of v in d1 is obviously reverse bus as unlike previous case it was forward bus but during the positive half cycle it is reverse bus as you can see from this circuit diagram so therefore so if it is increased positively so this is positively increasing voltage v vo prime that is connected to the cathode of the diode and therefore the diode will be eventually reverse bus so there should not be any output at the, across this rl and vo should be zero volt so therefore during the positive half cycle the output should be zero volt and d1 is off here now what happens when during the uh, negative alteration that is the negative uh, half cycle in this portion what happens d1 is forward biased we can see this d1 is forward biased so if this is negative and this is in same phase because of uh, uh, v is applied at the non inverting terminal so this vo prime is of same phase as v in and that is uh, negative uh, voltage apply uh, connected to the cathode applied to the cathode of the diode so as a result of that the diode will be eventually forward biased 
so in this case this path will be shorted and this loop is closed then and uh, therefore once again the circuit will look like a voltage follower or work like a voltage follower and therefore the output voltage vo will follow the voltage v in so therefore in this case d1 is on so the output will look like this and once again in the second uh, po positive half cycle d1 is off and so the output vo is 0 volt so unlike the previous occasion this time the output is inverted <coughs> form of the previous one that's why this circuit is is called negative half wave rectifier or precision rectifier and these two are input output waveforms this is input waveform and this is output waveform okay well so in this case during the positive half cycle the the, the op amp is working in open loop and this loop is open and in the neg negative half cycle it is a closed loop circuit or closed loop amplifier yet another negative uh, half wave rectifier can be drawn along with these two uh, types of configuration and that is something it should be look like this the non inverting terminal is connected through a offset minimizing resistance rom into the ground and the inverting terminal is applied at with through a resistance v in is applied at the non, uh, inverting terminal in this case this is v in through a resistance r1 input resistance into the inverting terminal and from there the input v in a connection is made with the output through a diode in this fashion okay this is one diode and another diode and a resistance is connected in feedback path in this way this is rf feedback resistance equal to the input resistance r1 and uh, this diode there is another diode connected in this fashion with the feedback path now this is d1 and this is d2 the two diodes are connected in this fashion now the direct output from the op amp is this this uh, is the voltage at this node denoted by vo prime and the final output is taken from this node it is vo only so this is uh, yet another negative half wave rectifier so once again we will see this is negative half wave rectifier with a different circuit configuration and let us see how it works how it operates in this circuit two diodes are used we can see from the uh, diagram so that the output vo prime the output of the op amp does not saturate actually because of using the two diodes that means the output is uh, tapped between a series connected diodes tapped in between and therefore by any means whatever be the polarity of the or the phase of this output voltage of op amp vo prime it will actually allow at least one of the two diodes to conduct at any point of time and the other will remain off at that particular point of time so as a result of that the we can say that since two diodes are uh, connected in this fashion and between them the uh, op output of the op amp is connected or tapped or uh, we can say it is a center tapped output between the two series connected diodes so we can say that op amp uh, these two diodes will nev will never allow the op amp to saturate in its operation and this minimizes the response time and increases the operating frequency range of the op amp so if uh, that means if uh, saturation occurs for op amp that means to come down from one saturation level to go towards the reverse other saturation level it will take a much uh, larger time had it not been gone into the saturation 
so therefore since there is no sun chan, uh, chance uh, there is minimum chances of saturation of the out op amp output so therefore the response time will be quicker for this circuit although it is negative half wave rectifier as we have seen in the previous case also but compared as compared to the previous case this circuit will be providing us a uh, minimum response time or lesser response time than the other than the previous minimum response time because the output of the op amp is not going into saturation and also as the time is less that means the operating frequency range of op amp is more so more operating frequency range of op amp as its output is not allowed into saturation by the diode array that means the connected diodes that is called diode array however we should be noticing one thing here that the op amp is used in the inverting configuration that is something uh, interesting which which was not there with the previous uh, discussions or the, uh, the which was not there in the previous circuits because in both the cases previously for positive and negative small signal half wave rectifier for previous both the circuits we have seen the uh, in input had been applied to the non inverting terminal but in this case you can see that that it is applied to the inverting terminal and the output is measured at the anode of the diode d1 so this is the d1 uh, d and at its anode anode means this uh, terminal from here the output is measured but but previously it was measured from here which is actually shown here v0 pri uh, vo prime but uh, uh, here it is vo prime but in the previous two occasions it was vo actually and the diode was placed somewhere here now the diodes are shifted to these two positions and from the anode of uh, anode terminal of diode d1 the final output is taken so these are the these are some of little modifications of this circuit as uh, as compared to the previous circuits so uh, therefore uh, we can say that uh, the output resistance here also is non uniform since it depends on the state of diode d1 so as we are uh, um, considering the overall output from the anode of the anode terminal of diode d1 so we can say the output resistance is non uniform that is the output resistance is not properly utilized or measured considering symmetry between d1 and d2 because the output is actually taken across the d1 or from the diode d1 and no involvement of d2 is involved in the measurement of final output voltage so we can say the dependency of output voltage on output resistance is not uniform it is more inclined towards d1 than d2 because d1 will be having greater role than d2 in uh, finalizing the output resistance so therefore output resistance is in this case non uniform in other words we can say the output uh, impedance is low when d1 is conducting because if d1 is conducting we should be having a good amount of output voltage because this will be a short circuited path then and when it is short circuited path the output will become very good at or it is uh, very well qualified output and therefore the output resistance will be minimum in that case or low and also the output uh, on the contrary the output impedance will be high when d1 is off that means there will be no cur uh, current flow through the d1 d1 is not conducting so it is an open circuit and therefore the output voltage should be replicated as such so that the corresponding output resistance is high and that is equal to uh, the resistance of uh, rf that is the feedback resistance because we know the inverting amplifier uh, gain is 
minus R F by R one. So since R F is uh, at the numerator and uh, its value will be the determining factor with respect to r1 rf should be very high value as a result of that the output should be high output resistance should be high and so we can say that high imp output impedance when this diode d1 is not conducting is equal to the feedback resistance rf the prob uh, this problem however can this is a problem because of this non uniformity of the measurement of output resistance here and this problem however can be rectified or cured by connecting a voltage follower stage at the output so once again another voltage follower stage may be connected after this point or after this node from where the output voltage vo is measured and during the positive half cycle of v in in this case if we see the uh, and the waveforms now so this is v in this is how v in look like and this is vo this is vo so uh, during the uh, positive half cycle of v in when it is uh, like this that means here in the circuit the positive voltage positive increasing voltage is applied at the inverting terminal so output will be minus or negative it is negatively increasing so negatively increasing means that d1 will start conducting and d2 will be off so the output vo prime will be such that it will be negative and it will be forward biasing the d1 and d2 will be off then and if d1 is forward biased that means it is this path is shorted so this loop through rf r1 into the inverting input this loop will be a closed loop and so uh, in this case we have considered that rf is equal to r1 the two resistances are equal so for a uh, inverting amplifier we know the gain is minus rf by r1 a and see if rf and r1 is same so mod a is equal to unity that means this circuit will be like uh, will be working like a unity gain amplifier that means it is it will work like a voltage follower so therefore when uh, this uh, during the positive half cycle this circuit will be working like a voltage follower so so if it is voltage follower then vo equal to v in so in whatever be the output the same should be replicated uh, whatever be the uh, sorry whatever be the input the same should be re replicated at the output but the mo most interesting thing here since it is positively increasing voltage at the inverting terminal that will be in opposite phase so vo prime will be in opposite phase with uh, the input v in because the input is applied at the in, in, at the inverting terminal so that means when vo prime when v in is positive vo prime is negative and that is connected through this short circuit because this d, d1 is forward biased and this will be a short circuit this path and therefore vo prime will be equal to vo so whatever be the phase of vo prime is equal to the phase of vo so when v in is uh, positive vo will follow v in but vo should be opposite in phase with v in so that's why the output should be look like this during the positive half cycle okay so on the negative alteration now uh, of v in when it is the negative half cycle when v in is negatively altered the output vo prime is positive because it is applied to the uh, inverting terminal so this is this vo prime is positive now when vo prime is positive the diode d2 will be forward biased and d1 will be open circuit it is no it is reverse biased and so the output will be zero volt in this case so therefore during the negative half cycle there will be no conduction and final output vo 
measured from this node because of d1 is off and d2 is on the the current is flow in this uh, direction the uh, the diode uh, d2 will conduct d1 is off that means no output from this node so vo will be zero volt so therefore here vo will be zero so for negative half cycle the output is zero so that means here d1 is off d2 on and in this case d1 on d2 off for the previous half cycle or the positive half cycle now to obtain positive half wave rectified outputs using this particular configuration with two diodes what we need to do these two diodes d1 and d2 must be connected in reverse direction so to obtain see, since this is uh, neg uh, generating the negative half wave rectified circuit so for getting positive half wave rectifier using this same configuration we need to just reverse connections of d1 and d2 these two will be just the reverse and rest of the connection is same the explanation of uh, using the circuit or uh, working of the circuit will be same so therefore uh, once again uh, when this second half cycle will come in the positive direction there will be another negative peak or inverted output so this is the input output waveform of this particular circuit and because of we are getting the rectification in the negative direction so it is called negative half wave rectifier using these two diodes in the previous case we have seen with one diode here the negative half wave rectifier but in this case we are using two diodes to get the same thing the negative half wave rectifier okay but the interesting thing is the difference is because of other things uh, in the previous case we have got the output only during the negative half cycle of the input signal and no output during the positive half cycle unlike that we are getting no output during the negative half cycle here it we have got and here we are getting nothing and in this case here we are getting nothing in the positive half cycles but in this case we are getting during the positive half cycles the output but that is inverted and that is because of this inverting mode of operation and this was a non inverting mode of operation basically of the op amp so this is all about the uh, discussion of precision rectifiers using uh, op amp and uh, operation of half wave rectification